Hi, good evening. Um, so I'm going to see if anybody is showing up tonight. Um, you can see I'm very dressed up. I got my sweats on, I got my comfy sweater on, and just ready to craft with you. So um, let's see. So while I'm waiting, I'm just going to choose the transfers that I'm using tonight. And I changed my my um, studio around a little bit. So I just want to make sure that I have everything I need. Okay. And I think I do. Oh, the paste would be good. Oh, right there. Okay. So, all right. So, oh, what a day. I imagine everyone's getting ready for their holiday plans, so I'm hoping somebody shows up this evening. That would be nice. So tonight we are actually doing another Dollar Tree craft, but um, so if somebody has popped on, if they'd like to say who they are, that would be awesome. Um, and uh, like, share, and follow to get a uh, chance to win on Saturday. Um, we'll be having a giveaway. So, and once you have liked, shared, and followed, um, just comment tree in the comments below and you'll be entered. So I am using a Dollar Tree cutout that I picked up a couple of months ago and it's a thin piece of wood and it's actually it's it's really nice. Um, it's fairly flat okay so if you want to put it on the wall you can put it on the wall you could probably put magnets on it and stick it to your refrigerator if you wanted to. And basically what this is, is it's acrylic paint and um, I just added some yellow to it to give it some shading, make it look like kind of branches, give it some dimension. And, um, and then I waxed it with um, just your basic Minwax um, surface wax so that when I use transfer on here, um, it will actually adhere the paste to it much better and the transfer won't stick to it so much. So, hi Karen, how are you this evening? I'm glad you're here. So, I don't know, Karen, if you've actually um, uh, signed up to be, I think you actually have signed up to be in the contest before, or the, the giveaway, the drawing, at the end of the week. But if you like, share, and follow Jen's Craft Menagerie, um, and then comment tree below. Um, it'll get you a, uh, a your name in the drawing. Okay. And for every live that I do between now and Saturday, um, you can actually um, get your name in several times. So great. Hope you're good. I am. I am. Um, so I just keep fuzzing this transfer and I think it's going to be fine. Uh, I put on Christmas music, but I can't concentrate with it on, so just a second. Oh, I kicked my cat off of my chair before we started. Every time I come up here, she jumps on the chair. So, so I'm using the, uh, the Stay Cozy transfer tonight on my Dollar Tree cutout. Okay. I've been wanting to use this one. I painted it up a while ago and I actually did a, um, I did a live on this, but, um, but I haven't used it yet and I want to do it before Christmas. So, um, so I'm putting the transfer on and I'm going to center it as best as I can. And I'm going to do this all in white, um, for, for, uh, for starting out with, uh, Chaka Tour, um, Using getting if you do the the uh, kickstart kit, you get a um, a jar of the white paste, and that is the that is like the main color, um, color non color, um, 
that everybody starts out with because it's the easiest one to use. White and black um, are the mainstays, and um, because they go, I mean, they go with everything basically. If you have a white surface, the black is going to look awesome on it, and if you have a color surface, the white's going to look awesome on it. So, um, so that's what we're going to use tonight. Okay, so I'm going to do the stay cozy on the bottom. And I'm going to use one of the snowflakes from the Snowflake Medley collection that I have been using lately. And I gotta say, one of my best purchases because you can use these snowflakes on just about anything you want. Um, you can doctor up anything that you, um, that you decide to make. So... But I love these little wooden Dollar Tree um, cutouts. They are awesome. They're a lot of fun. Because you can do them any way you want. Because you, when you get them, they're plain wood. And then you can just make them anything. So. Are y'all ready for Christmas, Karen? We're not getting a tree this year. Um, the puppy is too big and the house is too little. So, and we're afraid that if we put the tree up, he is going to totally destroy it. So, so no tree. And I think instead of doing this across, I'm going to do this up and down. And I think it'll look a lot better. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. I just want to make sure that I get it totally straight. All right. Okay, so I'm putting the snowflake down. All right. So I've got the snowflake instead of going, being it flat on top, it's got the, it's going up and down like that and then crisscross in the middle. All right. So, and I think this is going to look really nice. Whoops. You know what? It's a little off. So with that wax on there, that came right off really nicely. So I think, I think that'll look good. All right. So now I'm going to put the chalk paste on and we'll see how that comes out the other thing that i'm going to show you guys how to do tonight is actually clean off one of the boards um because i want you to see how easy it is so, so let's mix this up oh it's so quiet up here without the uh without the christmas music playing it's really hard for me to talk and concentrate at the same time with the uh, with the music playing in the background because I want to sing and get the song stuck in my head and it's just like, oh man. So we don't want me singing. No, we do not. So all right, so let's get this on here. I think this is gonna look really cute. Stay cozy. That's a good piece of advice for our North Country winters. Stay cozy. Especially this week, it's supposed to get cold. You know, and some people would say that it's cold already, but it actually hasn't been that bad. I don't think. Now, my family that's gone and moved down south, they'd be like, Oh my God, I can't believe you still live there. I don't think it's been bad. But Derek has been cold this year he's like I don't know what's wrong with you you're the coldest person I know but I don't know don't know I don't mind it this year though so I think I'm just gonna do the star and then rip them both up at the same time so I'm gonna say it would make me want to sing and my family asks me not to sing <laughs> oh gosh yeah, nobody, well, Derek has said every once in a while, hey, who sings that song? And I'll be like, well, you know, and I'll name it whoever, it, whoever sings it. And he'll be like, let them do it. I'll be like, oh, right, okay. I sing well. Um, so, Karen, I say, go ahead and sing. It's always fun to sing. I had a really good chorus teacher in school. I enjoyed singing. She made it a lot of fun. 
So I, that's one of the things that I feel bad for the kids now because of not being in school is not being able to see those teachers that really make a difference in their lives and, um, and, and doing those things with their friends. Oh, this is cute. Um, because those are the memories that you end up carrying with you for the rest of your life are some of those moments. Um, like we did all state chorus, all state. That was so much fun. That was easy guys. And that looks really cute. I love it. Hi, Kendra. You sing all the time at home. Good. Good. It's so much fun. It really is. So I can put like, I can put a bow here. I can put a string here and hang it. I could put magnets on the back of it and hang it on the fridge or on the door. I mean, we have a metal door on our front door, so um, we could definitely um, use this. And, and what I'll do is I will spray this with um, a polyurethane type of, uh, hi, Melissa, a polyurethane spray. And um, so it'll be good out in the weather um, as long as I get do the whole thing. If you're going to put this outside and like put magnets on the back and put it on the door, then make sure you spray the front and the back um, because it's going to get weather behind it if you put it on the door um, or put it on a wreath or, you know, anything. That, it came out really good. I like it. Just the one color. I, I think this is my favorite this season. <laughs> it was so simple. Um, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this to dry now. I really like this, guys. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, I'm going to clean those up, the uh, transfers, because we're done with those tonight. Um, let's see, I can get this over here. Um, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean off one of the reusable surfaces, because I want you guys to see... I, I, um, the first time I used it, I was afraid to, um, to clean it off. I was afraid that it would be difficult to do. And, um, in fact, I think I did a live afterwards, um, letting you know how easy it was. I was afraid to do it on, um, on a live because I was afraid that it wasn't going to be easy. And, um, I didn't want to turn anybody off of it. But um, super, super easy. So I'm just going to get this cleaned up. And put it on the dryer here. So Melissa has brand new grandbaby. And she has been posting pictures all day. And the baby's adorable. And the family is adorable. So, is baby still over at your place, Melissa, or is she gone? And don't forget, girl, I have your, um, that special package for you. So let me know how we want to get that over to you, okay? Um, so you guys, after Christmas, I'm going to reveal this uh this pack it is absolutely adorable um i offered it as a special deal um i only had like a day to offer it and um because after that it went on the shelf and now it's available as a piece by piece um melissa went ahead and got the deal the whole deal and i'll tell you something it's gorgeous um and it, it was a really good deal. So, um, so yeah, so after Christmas is when we're going to start, um, playing with that. Um, it is, uh, it's going to be fun to do. And I can't wait, um, to find some new surfaces to work on besides Christmas and fall. So, um, so that'll be fun too. All right. Okay. So we got them cleaned up and that's important. You guys, when you're using the transfers is to clean them up. Okay. Um, and clean them up quickly. Um, 
because you don't want the sticky to disappear from the backing because that defeats the whole purpose of using it. But, um, so I'm going to get the surface and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to clean it. And I'm also going to try something new tonight because I've never used the, um, the paste scraper on the surface. I've used a, a little bit on my front window to clean up a couple mistakes and that worked really, really well on there. Um, but I have not used it on one of the surfaces yet. So I'm going to just grab the surface. Okay. So This is my Santa approved surface. Oh guys, if you were watching the other night, you saw me do the hat with the Santa um, name and I was going to put approved underneath it, but then I decided not to because the paste was wet above and I didn't want to smudge anything. Um, I got it done. Um, I fixed it last night and how cute is that? How cute is that? That's a dollar, a dollar hat. And now it's a custom. Nobody else has this. Nobody else has made one that looks exactly like this yet. But if they have the Santa approved transfer, which is no longer available, um, then they can go ahead and make this. But how cute is that? And I mean, this is, this is hard. You know, it's, I don't know if you can hear it. Okay. So, I mean, it's going to stay on there. It's going to stay on there and, um, it's not going anywhere. So I just, I love it. I just think it came out really good. So, I mean, and you can always put a name on here if you want. Um, I, I do have stencils that I can use to do a name on here, but my deal is glitter glue. I just love using the glitter glue to put names on stuff because you can just do it in your own handwriting. Um, but I just thought it came out so cute, but this came from this transfer. Okay. And I'm not really crazy about the Santa. I, I gotta say I'm not crazy about it, but, um, but a lot more, a lot of people are, they like it. Um, it's just not my style. I'm not a Santa. Okay. I live with Santa. I mean, I see enough of Santa every day. I see Santa. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but basically I got this so that when Derek did play Santa Claus, um, he could have this with, um, with like that Oh snap transfer that I have that I have not used yet. And, um, he could, you know, the kids would get their pictures taken with him, but he couldn't play Santa this year, uh, because of COVID. So... We are talking about doing Christmas in July next year and having him do Santa photo shoots at that time. So we'll see. If anybody's interested, let me know. Sorry guys, I'm wicked thirsty. All right. So this is a reusable board. Okay. This is the transfer. It's on here. It's I'm not smudging it off. That's been on here for ever. Okay. It's been on here for a couple of weeks. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray and I'm, you can probably use any type of water to spray, but, um, because I use that this with the distilled water in it for the, um, paste, I'm going to use this. Okay. And I'm just going to spray down everything. Okay. I'm going to let it sit for a minute and I'm going to go get my scraper. Which should be in this drawer. And it is. I spent several hours yesterday afternoon rearranging and cleaning out stuff. I have a basket of material that I do not want. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I have an old light that I'm going to bring to my daughter and let her have. 
Um, I don't know what else I have. Oh, I've got a, I've got a broken vase um, that I have to pick up and throw in um, a paper bag and get rid of. So, and then it was full of shells, so I probably got shards of glass in the shells. And don't even ask me how it broke, because I don't know. It's been like this for a while. Um, and where are my paper towels? Oh, right here. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so I'm going to use the paper towels to clean up the scraped paste. All right. So, all right, if you're joining me, and you have not done this yet because I have not seen anybody comment, like, share, and follow Jen's Craft Menagerie. Then comment tree in the comments, and I will put you into a drawing for next Saturday, which you have to be present for. Um, so if you're following, then you'll get the notification that I'm, that I'm live. And, um, and if I draw your name, then I'll send you some happy mail. All right. So, um, so you guys, okay. So I'm not even going to scrape yet. Um, I can pretty much wipe this up and I think that's all I'll have to do. So let's see. And basically I'm moving from the outside in, you know, I don't want to get the paste on the, um, on the white part of the board because it's red and red will stain. Um, where's my garbage can? I do have to get a larger garbage can because the garbage can that I have in here is too small. It fills up too quickly and then it's just, it ends up spilling out onto the floor and then I have to clean it up and yada, yada, yada. It's not a lot of fun. So, uh, tree. Awesome. Also, I didn't know I had to be present. You know what? That's, you didn't know that because I didn't say that. Okay. So I'm saying that now so that people know now because I didn't, nobody knew, nobody knew, um, because these giveaways are new to me. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to remember everything, and so that's why I am saying it now. Um, but, yeah, oh my goodness. So, see, okay, so I'll just show you. So far, I mean, it's really, it's coming up really nicely. Um, if I wanted to, I can take this. And just push the larger clumps it looks like the northern lights it really does okay so let me do that okay I just wasted that all right and we'll just give it a spray here and wipe it up a little bit more and we should be good to go with a clean surface with uh with the reusable boards this is possible every single time and it doesn't leave um an image behind um some of the other surfaces that we use like the wood surfaces um if I chalked something on it and I didn't like it, but it dried and I cleaned it off, it might leave an image behind, a little ghost, ghosty image. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, and I'm just telling you, it's, it's super fun to use a bunch of different, um, surfaces. As you can tell, I mean, I don't do everything on chalk couture surfaces. I wouldn't be able to afford to do that, you know, and not, not, Nobody can afford to do everything on special surfaces, okay? So, I mean, these are great because they're reusable and you can use any different type of transfer and, and put it on here, okay? Of course, it has to be able to fit, okay? 
but um and there are bigger ones there's the one i did the hot cocoa on the other night and that was huge okay and i found out that that surface is not available any longer but they do have okay am i okay did you guys lose me or am i on i don't know if i'm still alive or not it says i'm alive but it looked like i got lost also i don't oh okay so that was there before okay so um yeah, we, the connection tonight is really poor. I don't know why. All right, so so just so you know, the reusable surfaces, easy to clean, looks brand new. Okay, and it's just water. It's just water. You don't have to use soap. I don't think you'd want to use soap um, because soap might leave a film on the surface. Okay, so um, so just keep that in mind if you know you decide that you want to do this. Um, the reusable surfaces are available and they're really easy to use and really easy to clean. Except for that little one red dot that I can't seem to pull up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, so what is new out there with you guys? Hmm? Okay. So Kendra, you commented tree, so I'm going to get you in the drawing. Okay. Has anybody else liked and shared and followed this page so that I can throw you in? So, doo -doo 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 -doo. so I don't know. I haven't done any Christmas baking yet. I don't think I'm going to. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I got to remember to get your cookbooks out of my trunk, Kendra, um, so that I can get them sent to you. And I have to be able to get my work stuff into my trunk tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, all right, folks, I'm rambling. Karen, okay, Karen, you need to go in there too. So let me get my pen and my, what did I do with that? I had the cutest little, um, little, it was like a little book box. And it had like the night before Christmas on it. I got that at the dollar store too. Um, and it's in this house somewhere, but I don't know where. So let's see. Let's get going on this. So Karen and Kendra. All right. You guys are going in for Saturday. I still have to pop this in the oven and get it heat set. I still haven't done that yet. Um, so I can actually use it. It was actually fun making that. I really like the color. But I really want to use it. So <sighs> I'm going to have to do that. I'll have to look up and see how much the temperature needs to be to season the cast iron frying pan. And if it's the same as the cup, then I can do them at the same time and save some energy at the same time. So, all right, guys. Um, I decorated my Christmas pan. I saw that. Saw it on Facebook. Thought that was very cool. Um... I myself have wanted to buy a pineapple because I saw a video on Facebook on how to easily peel a pineapple and it was seriously um, one of the most interesting things I've actually ever seen. So I think, you know, if I do remember, I'm going to buy myself a pineapple just to do that. But I did see your decorated pineapple. Very cute. That is a family tradition for you. Um, I have never heard of that. So that is pretty neat. Um, yeah, all of my family traditions have just gone to the wayside this year. <laughs> um, we are getting our Christmas cards out. Um, I did do those the other night. So, um, basically I need to print out labels and we will be good to go and getting those out. Um, what else? 
what else is going on? I had so many things that I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was going to be. But, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe it's still Monday. <laughs> it should be like Thursday. <laughs> so, oh, I know. I tried a new face cream this weekend. I got in touch with my sister, um, my oldest sister last week and I asked her what face cream she uses because she recommended to me when I was 24. Um, she asked me if I was using face cream and I said no and she said you really need to when you're young um, face cream with SPF and she recommended a brand and I started using that and I've been using that ever since so I've been using it since I was 24 and I'm not gonna say how many years it's been since then although some people know and um, but I realized now that my skin is getting older and drier and I needed something different so I contacted her and she gave me this this she, she told me this other brand to try and and what it was and what I needed to get and I did and stupid me I used it on my eyes should have used a different cream on my eyes and did this other stuff on my face and I couldn't understand why the skin around my eyes looked so red it was horrible it was horrible I looked like I was dying of something okay this is how bad it was um but uh but I realized over the weekend that that's what it was, was that face cream it was burning my eyelids and the sensitive skin around my eyes. So this morning I went with the old brand around my eyes and the new brand on my, on my face and I love it. I love it. It's going to be good, I think. So it's a kind of a joke. Oh, okay. Um, well, I would love to know how that came about. That would be neat to know. Um, okay. So what else? I think that's it guys. I would like to know if there's anything you want to see me do using Chalk Couture or Dollar Tree items, um, that you want to know how to do, but you don't know how to do it. And maybe I can figure it out and show you, um, or that you think that I would like and, and, and maybe I could try it out. If there's anything, let me know. Okay. Um, I just feel like chatting tonight. I, I don't really feel like doing too much. I'm really sorry. Um, I just, I'm, this was something that I really wanted to get done and I'm just really glad that I got it done tonight. I think it just came out. I just love it. I love the green anyway. This green, I think green's my favorite color. But I think it came out really nice. So, um, so yeah. So I think I'm just going to go with that. And um, thank you guys for showing up. I promise you tomorrow night I will have something way bigger. Well, maybe. Um, but something uh, that's going to take a little bit longer so that I'm not rambling on about my face cream. Okay? <laughs> but come on. I mean, we're girls. We can talk about this stuff. Um... Oh, you know what we could do is, um, if you want, and I know I've suggested it before, and I don't know if anybody thought it was actually possible because I didn't get any comments on it, but maybe we could do like a spa night where we all like do face masks. And instead of doing this live over the internet, we do it in a Facebook room and we could just do it by invitation. I don't know how the Facebook rooms work. It would be a way to figure it out. Um, because then I can do workshops through there too. Um, so if you're interested, um, think about it and let me know tomorrow. And if we can get something figured out, it doesn't have to be before Christmas. I know everybody's busy, but maybe between Christmas and New Year's, we could have a spa night. All right. So, um, let me know what you think. Give me some ideas and we'll go from there. Okay. And I promise I'll be back tomorrow night with a really good project. I'm going to start working on prepping it right now when I get off the live and, um, and it'll be, it'll be good. I promise. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for showing up. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you shared my video and, um, and, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay. Take care. Have a great night. Bye.